Welcome to the Insider Middle East and today we have something very important to talk about. For the last 10 days we have had the Sony AAH OLED and it has made our essential purchase list. The easy thing to do would be to run you through the specs and show some supplied demonstration footage. However, that is not how you make the Insider Middle East essential purchase list. So for a full 10 days we went, we threw everything we could at it and this is the result. Now, before we dive into why, we need to address the big mistake that nearly everyone is making when choosing a new television. And this is what makes the Sony OLED stand out. Two words for you, the processor. These are the words that only a few people utter. Tell me about the processor. It's such a simple thing to ask about. It is the key question above all when buying a new TV. Who makes the panel has long been a debate, but it's no longer relevant. The panel is blank. Now, um, why is it so important? Well, there's a huge problem with content these days. Uh, it's a mess, there we've said it. Content is all over the place. Days gone by, we all used to watch TV on broadcast. There was only four or five channels, and let's be honest, it was terrible quality. And now we have sources from all sorts of places. YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, and even more. Netflix and Amazon offer some of the most stable platform content, but they do treat high dynamic range or HDR in a completely different way. So the only way to beat all of these sources into place so you can enjoy any content from any source to its full potential, that is, is to defend yourself against fuzzy pictures, bad color, and pixelation. Now to do this, you need to equip yourself with the most powerful processor you can. And the X1 Ultimate is what powers the new Sony OLED range. It's the latest, and we've really been excited about looking at this range of televisions. So it's all about processing power, I hear you say. Yes, it is, but also it's, it's not enough by itself. If you need, you need the capability of power, but the processor is also a blank canvas. It needs to be mapped, it needs to be tuned, and it needs to be tweaked. We have over hundreds of thousands of hours, and that's done by computer testing and the human eye. So overall, what gives us this glorious picture and tells the processor what to do, it's all about the experience of the people that create the processor and map it. Now, all TV manufacturers have experience in making TVs, and it probably does sound like a bit of a silly thing to say. But just hold that thought, because we're going somewhere here. Did you know that Sony has been involved in making film cameras since 1982? That's before some of us were even born. They also make the reference monitors, which are used to scrutinize the final cut on the, on the productions on the film set. Talking of film sets, did you know they own Columbia Pictures, TriStar Pictures, Screen Gems, and of course, Sony Pictures. So the understanding of image capture and or signal processing from the film set to your home is what the X1 Ultimate is tuned with. We dive straight into Netflix and start a new series away. Largely based in space and Ultra Carbon a favourite testing series. Ultra Carbon we have seen before but it's Blade Runner dark fast moving scenes pitted with neon lighting and lavish colour are always a challenging test for any TV and HDR content. We fire up Pacific Rim on Blu-ray. It's a full 1080p Blu-ray disc which our Sony 4K player tells us is reading between 25 to 35 megabit per second. We see finite details we have never seen before. Small scratches on the bodysuits and scenes inside the Jaegers look out of this world, closer to 4K native material than anything else. There is no high dynamic range with this format, but it just doesn't matter. It's upscaled so well. Lastly, we roll out the native 4K high dynamic range Blu-ray collection. Bumblebee, Resident Evil Extinction are the selection. A quick push of the information button and we are feeding the Sony AH OLED up to 110 megabit per second of data with HDR10. The performance is simply astonishing. Large parts of each test film go by without our group muttering a word. Visual effects are no longer effects and they just look real. The Sony H OLED shows us that the Decepticons and Bumblebee himself actually exist. This is not an effect. Too many times we feel we are actually on the film set watching this all happen in front of us. So when we look at the Sony AH OLED, there's something completely different compared to your normal television screens. There are no speakers. The whole screen is the speaker. There are two actuators, Sony calls them, in the top left and top right hand corner. And what they do is they massage the screen and make it vibrate. So this whole 65 inch piece of glass is a speaker. The highs are nice enough. The lows are there, you get an overall nice sense of depth. We had this tested with our 5.1 monitor audio sound system and we were amazed at how horizontal 5.1 can sound when you have a 65 inch speaker sound coming towards you. 
So let's talk about the user experience. So we know that Sony uses the Android platform. This is Android 9, and as you can see, it's super zippy. It's so responsive, it's like using a very powerful computer. And again, that comes back down to the X1 processor, Ultimate. Now also, this new Android system has a really advanced Google search function. You can say something to it, friends episode. and Arabic. I don't speak Arabic and only speak one language, so you have to test this out yourself when you get home. But this is incredibly advanced. This is like having Siri or Apple Play built into your television. And talking of that, the inbuilt search is compatible with Netflix, with Amazon Prime, and with Shahad NBC's uh, Arabic, localized Arabic app channel. So this really is a giant leap forward. What do we think of the Sony OH OLED? Well, we've already given it the Insider Release Essential Purchase Award. And what does all of this come down to? The fact is you can put content on from any source on this television, even as low down quality as 720p and probably a bit further. And it's just so watchable. The cinematic effect when you're watching films is absolutely realistic. It turns streams from Netflix and Amazon Prime into some of the best quality we've also ever seen. If you have a physical Blu-ray collection, which lots of us will do, Put in a Blu-ray, the upscale is simply amazing. It makes it look like native 4K. If you're brave enough, have a 4K native player, put 4K native content into this television, and you are giving it exactly what it was made for, and the effect is just otherworldly. Several scenes we've watched on so many films, the few that we've shown in this review, you just feel like you're on the film set. The fact is, once you own a television like this, there is no going back. Thank you, Sony. This is something else I now have to go and buy. Go to your local Sony dealer, but take some content with you. Log in via your Netflix. Watch things that you know that you've seen before, or take a USB thumb drive. Don't just look at the demonstration footage. The real trick of this TV now is what it can do with content. In the early days, the early 4K TVs, the demonstrated footage looked a little bit different to what you watch. Not anymore. The processor in this television is so powerful, Everything looks like it's the demo footage and you really have to check it out for yourself.